Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and so that all sorts of opinion bank uh, news will definitely be notified. Let's talk about our brother F.A. Ajagba and the evolution of F.A. Ajagba. You know, not long ago, F.A. Ajagba, of course, fought Jonathan Rice in one of the, let's say, one of his uh, most disappointing fights. But I overlooked what he was trying to do in that fight. You know, his movement is improving. His jab was very good. You know what I mean? His right hand was well structured when he landed it. And he, of course, he kind of telegraphed a little bit, but he got it done, got the job done. You know, he's always, you know, like the numb. He's always normal when people, when you don't look, when you are known as a, as a monster, as a knockout artist, and you don't knock people, people out and this out, and then people will say, oh, Jack is not that good. Ajagba has knocked out the likes, you know, of uh, Razvan Kajano, Iago Kilasi, you know, Michael Valish, Amin Mansour, Storm Stopped, Santino Tumbao, Nick Jones. But he's never really evolved in those fights compared to how he did against Jonathan. And looking at what Ajagba has been working on, I've been seeing his story and all the stuff. <clears throat> Ajakba with his uh it is new with his new trainer right now, K Kuruma, I must say that I like what I'm seeing. I just hope Ajakba, you know, start displaying that in the ring when it's defied. I want to see that you know that footwork, you know, beginning to to I wanna see him use it more. Because what I'm seeing in training, the videos I've been seeing of Ajakba have been amazing. Ajakba has been working on that footwork. And the his, his, his ability to, of course, you know, time that right hand is also there, you know what I mean? I can't wait to say Jabba fight next. I think he's evolving as a fighter. And I think Ajabba is going to be a guy to be reckoned with in the division. Actually, right now, he is the best, you know, um, heavyweight prospect in the game right now. You know, like there was always this argument about, you know, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe about uh, Daniel Dubois being better than him in a way because Dubois, you know, was knocking out uh, Fuji, the Fujimoto's, you know, and the uh, other guys that he knocked out, you know, the Richard Lattes and all that. Ajakba, you know, is the best uh, everywhere prospect, and his evolution as a fighter has just begun. You know, after seeing those videos, I see that I saw. Ajabba is a threat. And I cannot wait to see him fight next. Stay blessed, guys. Stay hungry, stay humble. And uh, he's now a top rank, we all know. Sunny with top rank was a good choice, in my opinion. But I want to see him active. You know, I'll, you know, I complained in the past. I listen. Ajabba was inactive when he was with PBC. With top rank now, of course, we know he had an injury, something like that. So he came back fighting fortunate and rise. And I think the next time, you know, he's back in the ring, he's going to be more chopper, more chop, uh, more, you know, more elusive, you know, more mobile and definitely more accurate with his punches. I job by the one to watch out for. If he's trained well by K. Kuruma, he will become a top 10, top 5 everywhere. Stay blessed, guys. Stay hungry, stay humble. Cheers.